Hello. Well, I have just a very short video for you today on verse 7 of chapter 1 of the Sefer Yetzirah, uh, the book of creation. So let me start uh, sharing my screen and we'll get into it. Okay, here we have Sefer Yetzirah 1.7. And as usual, we'll first look at uh, the late Rabbi Aryeh Kaplan's translation of this verse and then my translation. So let's see. Uh, Rabbi Kaplan renders it as ten sefirot of nothingness. Their end is embedded in their beginning, and their beginning in their end, like a flame and a burning coal. For the master is singular. He has no second. And before one, what do you count? And now my translation is similar. Ten declarations of constraint. Their end is contained in their beginning and their beginning in their end. As a flame connected with a burning coal, the master is unified and there is not a second. And before the one, what is there to count? Okay, the statement that the end is contained in the beginning and the beginning in the end says something about the simultaneity and perhaps the unreality of time. Not only do all things exist at once, but the beginning is the end, and the end is the beginning. We just separate it out in our minds. An image is also given in this passage of a flame connected to a burning coal. And this is a very instructive image. The flame and the coal appear to be separate parts or components, but could the, the flame exist without the coal? And could the coal burn without fire? The two appear as rather, and yet, like the sun and its solar fire, they are inseparably one. You cannot have one without the other. Okay, so you find this image in more than one culture. Uh, things which appear to be two different parts or components, they're actually always linked together. So it's really just one thing. And here's the final uh, commentary. Furthermore, the text goes on to inform us that there's really nothing but this one. There's nothing to count before this one, and there's nothing after the one. When you're in front of the one, there's neither you, nor not you, nor any other being. All has merged into, into the one. And that's it. So I'll stop sharing that. So the basic message of this verse seems to be that we seem to live in a world of duality, a world of multiplicity. But from another perspective, everything is just one. There is no separation of space. There is no time. Everything is just simply one. But we come here in order to realize that there is only one. Okay, that's it for today. I'll say shalom and goodbye, and I'll stop recording.